Steve Now, Chief Meteorologist Chad Merrill with your full seven-day forecast. And welcome back, folks. Have you stepped outside this evening? We went from the 80s down into the 60s. We have some really dry air over us, and then that is allowing temperatures to cool off nicely. As a matter of fact, the air is so dry, the sky is crystal clear, that Goldie sent these two pictures from Sun Hill. When the sun was going over the hill, and then when the sun was setting, gorgeous. Keep sending the photos, folks, because I tell you what, there's not much rain in store as we go throughout the next several days. It does look ominous to the west. There's a line of showers. However, these were pretty intense storms in Kentucky and Ohio. They are slowly, though, moving east and also into some drier air. I'll show you that in a second. We have high pressure, though, across the nation's midsection. These are air quality warnings from Canadian wildfire smoke that will stay to our north. We do have this heat dome. We've been talking about it all summer, the impressive heat across Texas and also the western part of the U.S. Now, we do mention that the showers and storms are coming from West Virginia and they're going to dissipate in our area. But tomorrow afternoon, folks, the area most likely to see a thunderstorm as we zoom in here will be the northern half of our area. So from Beaver east at Webster Springs along the 219 corridor may see a shower or thunderstorm. This is the only spot that I think has the potential to see a shower or a thunderstorm. National temperatures, look how pleasant it is in the east. 68 in Beckley, but you jump over the Mississippi River, 80 right now in Kansas City, 88 in San Angelo. Denver was 95, dropped to 76. Why so quickly? Because the air there is very dry. They have big fluctuations in temperatures. Now, the precipitable water is the key to why these showers to the west are likely not going to survive. They're in a pretty moist environment right now across the Ohio Valley as they move east into much drier air. They should dissipate by the time they reach our region. So that's the reason we are not expecting those showers to survive. So we are in this pleasant, warm, mild pattern right now. But we have this heat dome to the west that's going to expand a bit off towards the east. The heart of this high pressure is not going to move over us. If it did, we would have high temperatures about 100 to 105. It would be absolutely unbearable. Instead, we will have three days where temperatures will be 90 degrees later this week. We will feel it. It will be an appreciable difference for us. We will have heat advisories, I guarantee we'll have heat advisories all across the Mid-Atlantic. We will have excessive heat warnings along the I-95 corridor. Washington, D.C. going for a heat index of 108 degrees later this week. And then finally, a cold front will drop south. As it does this weekend, that's going to bring us a good chance for some showers and thunderstorms. It is 68 degrees. The dew point, very pleasant, 61. That dew point is an indication of just what the low temperature will be tomorrow morning. So going through time, Tuesday afternoon, we'll have those couple of storms well to the north of Oak Hill. Those storms will move into Washington, D.C. Next little ripple of low pressure moves in. May see a shower or a thunderstorm early Thursday as that disturbance moves to the east. And then the all-important cold front over the weekend will sag south. And as it does, that's going to kick off some showers and thunderstorms across our region. And early next week, we cool it off a few degrees. We are watching this area of low pressure. Uh, the tropics have about a 50% chance in the next five days of becoming a tropical depression. We will continue to follow that trend. I do not expect us to have any impact from it, but if your plans take you down to South Carolina or the southeast, maybe Florida, in about a week or so, definitely keep an eye on it. Here's our all-important seven-day forecast. <laughs> look at those temperatures, upper 80s. Oh, look at that. You see that smoke coming from the weather computer? Yeah. That's because the high is going to be 90 degrees later this week. <laughs> yes, we put the hazy hop in human symbol in there. So, 10 minute thunderstorm possible Tuesday afternoon. We crank up the heat Wednesday and then early Thursday possible shower and thunderstorm. But there we go, Saturday and Sunday, that will break down our heat and we'll be in the mid 80s by Monday. I think we'll all be ready for cooler weather. Matter of fact, our director said he's ready for autumn. Really? I am too. I'm ready to shovel snow. Are you? No, I am not a fan of the winter season. No. I think a lot of people were saying, no, Chad, no, not winter yet. No. Now, yeah. did you do anything about all the heat that's coming up? Yes. As a matter of fact, I did dig into the data a little bit. And uh, coming up after the commercial break, you'll see just how common or uncommon 
90 degree temperatures are in our region. Well, I can't wait to see. We have that and more coming up after the break.